Hey guys, it's me P and I am back with another video. I've had this idea for a while now. I kind of want to start a series called The Femme Files. Basically, it would just be kind of like short videos. Also, that kind of depends because I know I tend to talk a lot, but um, just videos based on different topics surrounding femme, lesbian struggles, or even like just, I kind of want to cater it towards femme girls but they can also be relatable to honestly anyone in the community i don't i don't know i'm obviously it can be very open this video i want to talk about for all you lesbians bisexuals pansexuals any way you identify in the community i wanted to talk about how to know if a girl is into you In my personal experience, I kind of would go back and forth with, does she just want to be my friend? Does she just want to get to know me more because we're both in the community? Like, sometimes it's hard to read the signs. Like, is she being very flirty or is she being like, just very friendly? There were a few things that I was putting together trying to just be like, you know what? These could be some clear signs someone's into you. And if they're not really showing these signs, maybe they just want to be your friend. The first sign I want to tackle is eye contact and I know that sounds like very cliche and like almost very obvious and I obviously don't mean like staring at someone don't be creepy about it but I genuinely find if she's making some type of eye contact with you whether you're at like a larger gathering you're at a party or even if you're at a bar if she kind of like glances at you or gives you like I don't know, my roommate likes to call it the look. <laughs> there is a difference. There is a difference between looking at someone and giving them the look. And I find if you kind of get that look, you know, gives you the vibe that, oh, I want to come and talk to you or like come and talk to me, that could be a sign. Another thing I find is like showing some sort of affection towards you that maybe seems a little less friendly, especially it's if it's someone who isn't a close friend already. Basically on my personal experiences, I'm normally a very affectionate person. When I'm around my friends, I'm quite the hugger. I'm, I'll hold someone's hand. I'm very openly affectionate. Even if it's like small gestures, like kind of going out of her way to put her hand on your back or maybe even to like, while you're in a party, all my scenarios are I, if you're at a party, but I do find those are sometimes the easiest ways to tell, especially if you're in a bigger group. If she's kind of going out of her way to show you that she's there, I find someone who isn't really into you or just wants to be your friend won't really be going out of their way to like touch you or something. If you're first getting to know someone and let's say you are in a larger setting, her kind of making like plans with you just being with you instead of like encouraging more group hangouts. Um, I find that also can be a sign that she wants to get to know you more and based on the hangouts as well, if you're unsure and you're, you're like, I don't know if she just wants to be my friend or we're just getting together to do something casual, base it on does the hangout seem more like a date? Like are you guys going for drinks one on one and is it in more of like a romantic setting? Is it is it more of a date night kind of vibe? Those are signs you can pick up on as well. But I do find if she is making that effort to kind of be like, let's hang out. Like I wanna hang out just the two of you. Yeah, there's definitely a possibility she could be into you. I've definitely kind of been like a chaser for sure. If, if especially if it's someone who I really like, but I do truly find if the person is into you, they will show you or they will tell you eventually. So, that also goes along the lines with like even texting, you know, taking time out of their day to like actually respond to you and they're not taking like hours. I mean, I'm not saying you need to be texting every single minute, but odds are if you're on someone else's mind, they won't be taking like forever to respond. Showing someone you're interested means like you want to, you do want to take them out. You want to spend time with that person. If it's not very reciprocal, I think that kind of gives you a sign. And obviously it sucks because when you really, really like someone and you kind of want to believe that they could like you too and maybe you're the one trying to make all these plans. If she's not really following up with you or if she's kind of a little bit more passive and is like, yeah, cool, maybe. I don't know. I think just take that as a sign and to not waste your time, just 
just accept that I think we're just gonna be friends and move on because I know, easier said than done. I've totally been there where I've been like very like sad about certain situations when I've really liked someone, but at the end of the day, everyone has their own journey they need to go on and it's just a waste of your time, truly, if you're chasing someone who's not really giving you that energy back. And it may not seem like a reality when you're living in it. You might think, oh, am I ever gonna meet someone else like that again or someone who I'm gonna really, really like and have feelings for? The answer is yes. It will also be healthy. It won't be such a toxic relationship or a toxic friendship given um, because it has to be equal no matter what. In two people who are dating or two people who are in a relationship, it has to be equal. So that's another sign if she's into you, she'll text you. This is also kind of a bold thing and I don't know if a lot of people would do this. Another um, thing to do is just ask her if she's into you. I feel like especially if you're confused and maybe you're getting mixed signals and maybe she's been giving you all the signs of like, oh, she is texting you, she's complimenting you, she's um, making eye contact with you and maybe is like affectionate with you. If things aren't really leading up and you're kind of like, okay, what is this situation? Sometimes it's good to just straight up ask. It's good to be open about your feelings. It's it's great, honestly. And maybe she won't even know she's showing you those signs and maybe she'll understand, oh my God, like, you know what? I think you're great and I really just want to stay friends or this is where I'm at. Or she could totally be into it and want to try something. And maybe she didn't know you were into it. Sometimes it is something as simple as just asking, even though it's scary. Don't waste your time if you're not getting that because it can be really, really tough. and. I think a lot of queer people can relate to this because our community is so small and I, I mean, at least with people who are out, I find. So I've totally been there sometimes where I'll really like someone and then if it doesn't work out, I get so upset and so in my head about it because I keep thinking, but when am I ever going to feel this again with someone else? Or like, will I ever have those like same feelings? Because sometimes I'm like, how do I meet? other lesbians or how do I meet other queer people or other bisexual people, pansexual, pansexual, anyone who's in the community. And maybe that's another topic for a video is like how to meet queer people because I wonder if any, any of you can also relate, but I've definitely felt that before. And then I always prove myself wrong though because I'll really like someone and it doesn't work out. And then you meet other people. I do believe that the universe does have a plan for us and I think whatever is meant to be for you and what is right for you will come to you at the right time and everyone you meet in your past you're supposed to learn from. I truly think that. There's definitely a lot of people from my past that I've had feelings for that I've learned something from every single one of them and that is kind of what has like led me to the person I am today and I'm really grateful for that because I've discovered a lot about, about myself. So at the end of the day, if you ever feel like the person you're into isn't showing you that those same feelings, I'm telling you like there will be another person who does. And maybe it'll take a bit longer. Maybe it'll happen tomorrow. <laughs> like you just never know. And it's just always important to stay positive. And there's so many people out there who are going through the same thing as you. To go along with maybe knowing if a femme girl is into you and if you're not really sure, because obviously I don't think it's like right to necessarily judge anyone off of like an appearance because it really does go along with like how they actually treat you or what their actions are towards you. So I find if they're really taking action and not just saying things, that's a huge clear sign. I feel like it's really easy to tell someone, yeah, I like you, but if they're not showing you anything, take that into account and also be like, yeah, maybe this just isn't right for me. But if they're showing showing you things, they definitely like you. They're interested. Oh, another big thing is trust your gut. Your gut tells you everything. Honestly, if you ever have a gut feeling that maybe this isn't right or I think I'm giving too much into this situation and like she's not, she's not really showing me anything, that's not like just by coincidence. It's literally your gut telling you, I don't think it's this is it for you. And if it is telling you something and you're like, I'm getting a vibe, because that's, I don't know how else to describe how you'd be getting a vibe, but sometimes your body just knows. Like, 
it's kind of amazing how that works, but you can just definitely get a feeling like, yeah, I think she is. And be confident about that. I feel like um, it's so easy to be self-deprecating and to kind of think like, oh no, no, she's not. She just wants to be my friend or she's like just being friendly. I don't know, read the signs. Read how she's acting around you and talking to you and making plans with you and own it. And then if she's a great person and you guys are into each other, you can date and amazing. If anyone has any other like things that they've gone through or experiences when in their dating life in trying to find out if someone's into them, definitely let me know. I, I love to hear all of your stories. My DMs are always open, so literally message me if you have anything you've related to in this video or if maybe there's some stuff I missed. But um, if you do like the idea about the fem files or kind of like focusing on more topics surrounding fem lesbians, definitely let me know because I can make more content around that. And let me know what, what other kind of videos you'd be interested in seeing because this is something I really want to talk about and since I've become so much more comfortable over the past year in my own skin, I feel like I just want to talk about everything that I've been feeling internally and talk about like things that I used to be afraid to. When I see other people posting their coming out stories or posting such relatable content, it makes me so happy, like it gives me motivation. So I hope I can at least like give that to someone out there who is going through the same thing and always know it's gonna be okay. Like keep doing you because there's only one you in the world and you should own it. Anyway, I will check back in with you guys later. I'm gonna try and post every single week if I can, but yeah, you'll be hearing back from me soon.